Good afternoon. This is Robert with Blockchain Education. Let's take a look at what's happening on Qcoin today. So I'm going to open my Trading View watch list on Qcoin. And there's another one of the uh, high coins. High Birds is currently at 61% profit for the day. And Lina earlier was the number one gaining coin. Lina since uh, about last Saturday has done a hundred percent. So that one has kind of hit a a temporary peak. It's dropping back and if you look at it on the 15 minute you're gonna see that it's doing a little bit of a retrace so I would expect it to kind of come back down into this area and settle down a bit and I think it will continue but it's definitely not at a good price to buy in at right now so I would wait on Lina it just got done peaking so let's look at some other ones IGU that one also just peaked DPET had a nice gain broke out of a considerable downtrend so that's an interesting one looks like a kind of a kind of a radical pattern but we do have a little bit of green showing on the squeeze so that one will probably come down a bit I think and maybe present a better entry but I would I would wait for it to calm down after all that all that green high fluff high fluff actually looks quite good with a uh, with a trend like that trend floor so this one again should come down closer to the uh, channel floor before presenting a good entry again uh, let's look at Falcon Falcon another breakout where it just decided it had, had enough red and it's time to show a little bit of green so that one is kind of high RSI also not a great entry right now um, needs more time Arker now I was looking at this a little bit ago this is a classic early entry especially if you look at it on the daily you'll see that it's come out of a massive downtrend and the numbers between here and here here and here they mean a lot because you're in the sub thousand area here and anytime you get you know 600 700 800 so forth 900 a thousand when you get into those areas you're talking about big big percentages so some somebody's taking advantage of this uh, this low price here and got in and made uh, looks about 27 percent in the last uh, 24 hours so that's a probably a still good entry I do think it can be it can still be profitable Arker move uh, that's basically been red it had a little pump that was about uh, almost 40 percent 30 30 something percent pump there yeah I would uh, probably leave that one alone let's take a look at the four hour and go back to it yeah not really too excited about that hi Azuki yeah again that had a pump and bounced off the moving averages there looks like the 314 which is the green one and pumped and then did a retrace because it was just too much uh, buying activity in a short time so that one will probably present a a lower area where it might settle and then possibly come up but I'd wait for confirmation um, also it's getting ready to show a little bit of green possibly on the squeeze so that's that might be something that would be scalpable alpha um, alpha USDT interesting um, blue diamond means it crossed the 200 and the 314 in a single four hour candle um, these are often precursors to pretty nice moves I do expect this one will come back up in here um, in the next week or so this could be sooner
So Alpha looks actually pretty good. Spa, another classic downtrend, and then a pump. So not too sure about that one. High Cool Cats. Now this is actually similar to one of the other high coins I was looking at where you have these peaks, big pump, but the most important thing about this one is you have a pretty good channel floor. You know, something like this here. So there's your floor. Not really a manageable roof because you have these two tops here and there's no way to really draw the roof and have it be uh, proper. So that's a pretty interesting trade. Again, pretty good percentages in the numbers here. Um, of course, the higher you get, the less percentage between these numbers. When you're down in here, yeah, you're making good money. So I do expect that one to continue kind of bouncing up and down, but generally going up slowly. NGC, another big move out of the out of a lower area. Looks like it's being uh, moderately traded well. Downtrend. Suku. Yeah, another pump. Basically pump and dump. Sui. Really popular coin. It's just not doing well because most of the most of the futures traders are trading Bitcoin. High MFers. <laughs> yeah, this is the one I was looking at earlier. I got a friend that's been trading this one yesterday and today. So this one, I do expect it to come back up here in the 24 area, 0 .00, 2400. Um, but then again, I think it's going to go lower and then present a better entry. The uh, channel floor looks something like this. So I would wait for it to come back down maybe in the 1800 area, 18, 1900s in the price. So that would be definitely a better entry. All right, I'll do a couple more. Primal. No. PZP. Um, not really excited about that either. Yeah, now this one, if you're patient, you could scalp this coin. If you get in down here at or below this 200, this blue line, if you got in down somewhere here and just set a sell order for either up here or here, you can make a pretty good, pretty good percentage. So I would not get in currently because it's medium as far as the height of it. But I would wait and try to get back in here, if possible, and scalp it or day trade. So you're basically looking at, let's see, price range. So if you got in down here somewhere, you could make pretty easy 20% on this trade. If you wanted to be a little bit more conservative, you could go for about 15, 16%. So that's an interesting trade. High undead. Yeah, this has seen better days. Um, it's making lower highs, and I would probably avoid that for now, but check on it later. Comp. Now this is a uh, <clears throat> this is an interesting situation because you've got a lot of downtrend here, and you have this kind of a fish hook pattern. Usually this ends up, you know, going higher. Um, it's probably good for a scalp. I think that you could probably get, since the RSI is not exceptionally high or anything, you could probably get another 10% out of this, maybe 13. Resistance is going to start right there, but with the uh, substandard liquidity on Qcoin, probably won't be a problem making 13, 14%. So I would watch this one and try to. Uh, you could shorten the time frame and maybe get a good entry on the 15 minute. Yeah, looks good to me right now. Except the, yeah, it just moved. The RSI is very high on the 15 minute. It's going to have to come down a little bit soon. But, um, so yeah, right now probably not the best price to buy.